Here we are, my first video of 2014. We're all turkeyed out, we've had enough of the hams, enough of the turkey. So I thought today what I'd do is a real nice fish dish. And I've got this lovely tail of monkfish. What I'm gonna do, I'll take it off the bone and I'm gonna stuff it with black pudding and some salsa verde. Now I'm gonna make my salsa verde from scratch. I'm gonna use a bit more than this. I've got some mint, some flat leaf parsley, some basil, some garlic, some anchovies, gonna mix it with olive oil, some nice capers, some lemon juice, some mustard, and then I'm gonna lay the bacon out, take one half off the bone, put a bit of the salsa verde on, some slices of black pudding, the other bit of monkfish with some salsa verde, and wrap it up and we'll have a beautiful parcel stuffed with uh, monkfish bacon, salsa verde and the black pudding. Now, it's a bit dark in my kitchen here today, you have to bear with me because we're on flood alert. I shall move the camera out the window and I shall show you what I mean. Right, here's a view through my kitchen window. You can see the two rugby posts in the distance there and the hotel. Well, just under that hotel is the River Severn. It's burst its banks. All that water is normally green fields. It's burst its bank, the Severn, all the way down to Gloucestershire, down into Wales. They're having a hell of a time of it. So, if it's a bit dark in here, as you can see the sky, and look, it's a good. I do apologise. Let's get on with the cooking. Right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my salsa verde. Now you can buy these. I'm just being chefy, you know. Go to your supermarket, superstore, in the little jars. Get yourself some salsa verde. And cut out the middleman. But you know me, Scott Root Project. I like to make my own stuff. So what we're doing? I mean, this looks sensational. This dish when it's done, you know, and. It, it seems like lots of work's gone into it. Well, you know, if you're making the salsa verde, a little bit more work has gone into it, but out the jar, it doesn't matter, and it will still look stunning. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop my flat leaf parsley, so I'll get that going, and then I shall add a bit of mint, a couple of leaves of uh, basil, get them chopped up, and get it all mixed up. So. I'll get these chopped and I'll get back. Simple as. Right, there's my flat leaf parsley, there's my mint, and the smell from that is awesome. I'm just gonna, there's about six, seven leaves of basil here. I mean, there's no, you know, amount you've gotta use, just go with it. I mean, you go online, there's so many different versions of salsa verde. But you know, once you get your herbs in, as you can see, it's not science. I'm gonna get it in there. And what I'll do, these lovely anchovies. I mean, this is really punchy, zingy, vibrant. You know, and it will cut through the fat of that bacon. I mean, I'm, I'm tempted to just serve it after, but I'm gonna put a little bit in, you know, to my stuffing. So, there's my anchovies chopped as well salty punchy lovely next in capers the same mix it all together squash it if you want i mean you can just whack all this into a processor and just blend it gently you know because you want it to have a bit of integrity you want it to have those bits so there's that, that goes in. Next, the garlic. Colours in there, amazing. So into my flat leaf parsley, my basil, my mint, my anchovies, my capers, just this chopped garlic. That can go in. Right, lemon. Lemon, see it through in the sunlight. What are you two? One lemon, the juice of in the bowl. Right, you know the drill. Some mustard. Get that in there, give it a mix up. Now, you don't want it too wet, obviously, because we're going to use this as a stuffing. So, a bit of olive oil in. Give it a mix up. 
I mean, look how vibrant those colours are. Give it a quick taste. Mmm. Oh, so zingy. That is lovely. Right, that is your salsa verde made. Obviously, like I said, if you want to cut out the min man, just go and get a jar. But that, you see, that takes minutes. So let's get and prepare that fish. Right, let's prepare this lovely a piece of monkfish. This is a monkfish tail. I don't know if you've ever seen a picture of a monkfish. It's evil. You've got its tail there and its head comes out about five times as big. Full of teeth, it's got a little fishing rod on its head and it dangles it. The other fish go for it and it just chomps it up, man. Crazy thing. And the beauty of this fish is just got one long bone down the middle, if you can see. So each side you've got these two beautiful chunky fillets and all you do is get your knife in can't go wrong it is that simple I know I make it look easy but it's that simple and that is solid meat same with the other side straight down there you have it there's that bone I was talking to you about nice and clean so now what you're left with these two fantastic pieces of monk now years ago this is one of the trash fish nobody wanted anything to do with this it was chucked back in but now this is premium fish it's in the top 10 you know it's up there with bass you know and wild salmon turbot all that kind of stuff it's not cheap but you get a lot for your money it's meaty it's fantastic so what I'm going to do is a bit of a membrane just get your knife in slide it in You don't want to be eating that. So all I've done to remove that, so if you can see there, you can see the membrane. If you see it? So all I do is start it off, just put the knife in to there. Now, you're not putting any pressure on the knife. You're holding it horizontal and just wiggle. And it comes off, just like that. That's beautiful. Right, that's our fish prepared. So the way it's gonna work is you'll have your bacon, one piece of monk, like that, salsa verde, black pudding, salsa verde on the end of the bit. We put it together like that on the bacon, roll it up, jobs are good. Right, now I'm using good old smoke streaky. You can use pancetta, iberico, whatever, any of those. What you need to do, you need to make sure it overlaps. And you have to make sure it's the length obviously of that fish so what we're doing is building up a nice bed for it to sit on so what i will do because i don't think you want to watch me carry on doing this is i'll do this and we'll get back to it in a minute one thing i will say you know you can uh, make this simpler by, for yourself by buying that salsa verde and also you know just ask your fishmonger you know if you'll take that monkfish off the bone no problem or just have a go at yourself as you can see he's making this bed so I'll carry on with this see you in a minute right there you go as you can see fits lovely and who wouldn't want to be tucked up into a lovely blanket of smoked bacon so we'll start by the end there, and all we're going to do is put a little bit of that salsa verde on, like that. As you can see, I've used about half. And I'm going to get some black pudding. Here's me black pud. Now, cut that off. I'm just going to take the skin off. I mean, if you don't like black pudding, you haven't got to put this in. It's just me. I love this stuff. I mean look at it what's not to like about this fatty bloody tell you what tastes amazing so I'm going to cut a bit off so I can cut it and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna go a little thinner just so it sits on top like that Mmm, that's fantastic. Get on there. And then, 
of the verdite on top. I mean, you know already this is going to be something special. Put that along. Like that. How's that looking? Beautiful. Right. The thick end, the head end, the tail end, obviously thick, thin, top, tail, all the way around, top, tail, just rest it on and all we're going to do, just start it off, wrap it in this beautiful quilt of smoked bacon, this is genius, look at that, just gently pull it back. Look at that, Whoa. like that, to your left with that sausage. Now does that look good or does that look good? What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put it onto a bit of cling film, wrap, and I'm just going to wrap it just to chill it for a few minutes, you know half hour or so just so it chills down and it keeps its shape because I will put a few strings around that so right so what I'm doing is I'm just putting a few strings around this or if you get those elasticated food grade bands that's just as good what this will do it'll create that lovely shape it'll keep that shape which means it'll all cook evenly I'm using a butcher's knot here but you haven't got to so just gently I'm not pulling it tight if you don't want to do it that way you can just do a normal knot like that simple as tie it off that's all you've got to do and what we're going to do a couple of drops of olive oil into my oven proof dish and we'll get browning this off and then we'll roast it in the oven then for between 10 and 15 minutes and I've got my oven set at gas mark 3 right just place that in it's all nicely turn that heat down and what we'll do do the one side turn it do that side turn it turn it till it's all nice and brown then get it in the oven so it wants to be looking something like that I mean you can leave it a little bit longer make it more crispy but it's got some nice colour on I mean that looks Superb. So I'm going to put that in the oven now, Gauss Mark 3, and I'm going to check it after 10 minutes. Okay, that beauty's been in for 15 minutes, which should look something like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let that rest for a few minutes, just cover it in a bit of foil. Or what you could do, put that onto a plate, cover it with foil, and then sauté some spinach in that oil that's left fantastic awesome shredded cabbage serve it up with the uh, stuffed mumfish be tip top give that a few minutes we'll cut into it and have a look at it right the moment of truth just gently nipping these strings off then we can have a look see if this beauty has done what I think it should have done so I'll get rid of them. Come on. Always one that doesn't want to play ball. Right. Let's just square it off. Obviously I don't want the fish to be too overcooked. I'll tell you that end tasted amazing. Can just cut into here and another hell of a combo the flavors just have a look in there if you can see put them two like that and there's my finished dish my monkfish stuffed with black pudding and salsa verde so there it is that as you must admit looks absolutely stunning those two layers of monkfish there the black pudding salsa verde wrapped in that bacon 
I've just tried it and it's just fantastic. This is a riff on a dish I did, you know, two dishes. I did a mackerel stuff with uh, salsa verde and I also did a scallop dish on black pudding with a, a mountain poached egg yolk and I just thought this would go well so, you know, go together so well. I mean, this is the ultimate surf and turf. You must give it a go. Well, I don't think you can get a better start to 2014 than that. I want to get into this. Fish is cooked to perfection. Wow, there's a month left of the game season. So I should be cooking a bit more game for the next couple of weeks. You know, I've just had uh, 10 pheasants, a mallard and a widgeon drop me by my best mate, my game dealer, Coops. So we'll be working on them. But until then, please try and give this a go. It's a killer combo. Surf and turf, turbo charge. Thanks for watching.